right, so today we're doing a full face of Essence Cosmetics. So this entire look right now is drugstore makeup, Essence under $8. There's actually only one thing that was $8. Everything else was under $6. So really like the majority of this stuff was under six. But this video came about because I was in Walmart and I wanted to do another video where I do makeup under $10. And there was literally one brand, Wet n Wild, and like a couple e.l.f. products that were under $10 at Walmart. And I was just shocked because you guys remember when like everything at the drugstore used to be under $10 or it was like very easy to find makeup under $10. Inflation is real and drugstore prices have just gotten way up and Essence is like one of the few brands that has stayed very affordable. So thank you Essence for remaining affordable. One of the very few brands that have. This is not sponsored by them. They don't know I'm making this video. I bought everything myself. Essence has been one of my favorite drugstore makeup brands over the years. They have some incredible stuff and I found some major winners in today's video as well. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. I hope this gives you some ideas for things you might want to try if you are on a budget or if you just love drugstore makeup like myself. So everything I used on my face today is listed down below in the description box, but here's a full face of Essence Cosmetics. All right, so I'm gonna actually start off with a lip product because this is a lip oil. It's like a tinted lip oil. I wanna do this first because I wanna see how the tint I'd like adjusts throughout filming before the end, you know, when I do the lips. So this is the Cranberry Lip Oil. I actually put this on the other day and it looked really pretty. It didn't stay like super glossy, oily looking, but it did tint my lips to like a pretty kind of light pink color. So it smells like chemically vanilla, basically. As you can see, it's already starting to turn like pretty pink. And lip tints I feel like can be pretty nice, especially for more of like natural makeup because you don't have to worry about your lipstick like rubbing off. It can just give you a pretty color to your lips without having to be like fussy. So starting off with the face, we're gonna start with this jelly primer. This is a new product from Essence. Everyone's coming out with jelly primers these days. We have the e.l.f., which was the dupe for the Milk Makeup Grip Primer. I feel like the Milk Makeup Grip Primer was kind of copying that Korean one that was popular a few years ago. And by a few years, I mean like, <laughs> That's probably like five, six years ago now. This is a gripping primer. It says free from silicones and alcohol. Gripping primers, I like using them under kind of more dewy foundations that tend to have a little bit more slip. I feel like they can be kind of hit or miss with certain foundations because if you're putting like a really matte foundation on top of a gripping primer, it can work, but it just really depends on the formula. Okay, this is fragranced. It smells, it smells actually really good. It has like a little bit of a perfume scent. Not that I love fragrance and skincare face products, but this one's not bad. Immediately going on, this actually is going on more like a serum primer rather than gripping primer. Usually they're a little bit like thicker and tackier feeling when you blend them out. This is just like gliding on my face and it definitely feels more like a serum right now. So let's see as this starts to dry down if it gets any tackier. I didn't have anything on my face. So that absorbed into the skin fast. It's not feeling like a gripping primer though. It does have a little bit of stick to it, but it's not anything like the e.l.f. gripping primer or the Milk Makeup one. So this is one of my favorite foundations of all time, not just from Essence, but just in general, like one of my favorite drugstore foundations is the Essence Pretty Natural 24 Hour Hydrating Foundation. I have so many different videos reviewing this, talking about this. I have like a certain way I like to apply this foundation. I definitely prefer it with a foundation brush over a sponge, but I'm curious how it's gonna go over this product. Also, I haven't used this one in a while now, probably like a year, cause I just, I didn't pack it with me. This is in the shade 70 Warm Cashew, so I'm hoping it'll match with my tanner. I do have one a little bit of tanner. This foundation lasts so well on my skin and I like it when I don't want like overly glowy. It's a good just satin finish foundation. It really does stay on the whole day through sweating, through summer weather, everything. Oh, I think this shade match is gonna be perfect. So I'm just using my Haley's foundation brush and stippling this on. Wow, perfect shade match. So this foundation is about medium coverage. I love the finish of it. It just looks like skin. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte. It's like a perfect satin natural finish. And when it dries down, like it is, it is on there, it's staying on. Here's this side versus this side. So as you can see, it just like evens everything out, but it's still, you can still see my skin coming through. This is one of those foundations that for me applies totally different with a brush versus a sponge. Okay, this mirror is gonna need to uh, stop falling. I just think brush is 100% the way to go with this one. But Essence is still affordable. Oh, shit, that just went all right on my shirt. 
I feel like this is going over perfectly on top of that primer. For brows, I have this new Essence Brow Like a Boss Ink Brow Gel. This is in the shade 02 Brown. It says it's 72 hours <laughs> lasting and waterproof. I hope no one has their brow product on for 72 hours. I'm concerned if you do. Oh, that's right. Okay, this is like an actual just like brow liquid. I feel like you could never use this thing to apply that straight to your brows. I would be scared. That's, yeah. I mean, we could try, but I feel like you would have to use a little like brow brush or even spoolie to like comb this through. But for the sake of testing, we're gonna do it. Here we go. When you pull it out of the drawer, a lot comes on the tip, so you do have to kind of like brush it off. I'm gonna take a spoolie. This is the Anastasia Brow Brush number 12. This is like perfect brow brush because you have a spoolie on one side and a little angled one on the other, but I'm just gonna kind of comb this through and brush up. I can get like the brow hair look. It's kind of just like filling them in. Oh yeah, they're staying. Okay, so it is very holding. You can see the brown tint is like a bit warmish. It's a little big for that. Okay, for this one, I am gonna switch to my brow brush because I just need a little bit more control. Definitely dries very fast. Like even as I'm just trying to kind of shape this, it's like immediately drying on my brows. I don't know, I'm starting to believe the 72 hour claim thing. Brows are looking pretty intense, like pretty bold. Okay, going in with <laughs> going in with concealer. This is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer Waterproof Tattoo Covering. I've definitely tried this, but I can't remember quite what I think of it. So I'm curious to see today. Why do I randomly have lashes just such <laughs> in the shade 20 light ivory. This is not the lightest shade, but I got, you know, a little bit darker shades because of the tanner. This is so fragranced. Whoa, for a concealer right next to your eyeballs. Why do we need fragrance in that? Okay, so I'm going to blend this out. Feels like it might be a little fast drying, so that's why I'm kind of doing both at the same time. Vaguely remember not loving this concealer and now I kind of see why. Kind of immediately giving like the dry kind of crepey look under my eyes. Now I can feel my brows for sure. Like they feel <laughs> tight. It is that like dry down, whoa, I feel my brows kind of thing, which I feel like most people don't love, myself included, because then you're like talking and noticing your brows. It's a weird, weird sensation. That's like a sensation that a guy, if a guy who doesn't wear makeup, will never feel, isn't that weird? They've never felt their brows as they're talking. <laughs> I actually don't know if I've ever tried this powder because on pale skin, banana powders usually don't work, but obviously with tanner, it should work fine. Basically, they're just like powders that have a little bit of a yellow tint to them. And this one I'm actually gonna use with my Shop Miss A powder sponge. This can be really great for powder for the under eyes on me. I just like to like press it on, do a little swirl action and then apply to the under eyes and just like press over that concealer. I'm also gonna press this over my lid. Definitely brightening. I'm just gonna like blend this in the rest of my face. Obviously today I'm gonna need a lot of bronzing. My under eyes aren't looking great because of that concealer, but the powder I feel like did definitely help out. It brightened, I wouldn't say it added like a bunch of coverage. I can still see darkness coming through from that concealer, which seems like to me about medium coverage. Powder itself is looking nice. So I feel like if I put that over a concealer that I actually liked, I would probably have, you know, much better results. I've talked about this powder a lot recently, but this is a new release from Essence. It's their 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. I've just been using it as setting powder and it is so beautiful. It just like blurs nicely. It's not full coverage. I would say it's close to like medium coverage, but the finish of it, you literally can't tell you have powder on. It looks so pretty over any foundation I've tried. And I actually like using it with a more loose brush is the Haley's powder brush, which normally I use for like blush and bronzer and stuff. But this one with this powder is really good combo. So wherever I didn't apply the under eye powder, I'm just gonna kind of pat this powder over top. Guess I'm doing a full face powdered look. I haven't tried this powder with this foundation yet. So I'm actually curious. Typically this one like tones down the glow. The powder doesn't totally take it away, which I like because then it still looks like skin. I'm gonna take that same brush and I have a new bronzer to try here. It's the Kiss by the Light Illuminating Powder Bronzer. This actually says multi-use illuminating powder, but it looks like the tones for me are gonna be like bronzer tones. So I'm actually just gonna swatch this first to see what we're dealing with here. Oh, okay. It definitely actually looks like more of a highlighter, but that would be like too dark for my skin tone as a highlighter. But if you have a deeper skin tone, that looks pretty. Since my face is pretty matte right now though, I'm gonna just try this kind of, you know, on the perimeter of my face, see what, see what happens here. Whoa, that was super powdery when I just put my brush in there. So I'm gonna just try on my forehead and see. Might be way too glowy. 
But yeah, it's definitely glowy. This is, yeah, I would say more of like a highlighter for sure. But on my forehead, it's actually looking pretty. It's giving definitely a major glow, but it's like a nice sun kiss glow. This I would use more as like a blush topper kind of thing, not as like an all over bronzer, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my nose just to warm up my face. Actually, you know what? This is like one I could totally use if my foundation is looking too light because it is adding some like warmth into my face. Update on the lip oil. So like the oil itself is pretty much all absorbed into my lips right now, but as you can see, there's like a nice fuchsia color happening. I'm gonna do like kiss test so we can see. Yeah, nothing, nothing is coming off on my hand besides like maybe a little bit of oil, but like the color is just like tinted on my lips now. My apologies, I thought I ordered the Essence Blush. I definitely have like multiple of these in storage, but the Essence Blush in this shade I'll put on here is like one of the prettiest blushes of all time. I've talked about it in the past as it being like a dupe for the MAC blushes. There's something about the formula, the shades, they're just, if you've never tried the Essence Powder blushes, they're beautiful, but I did not have one today. So I just tried a new blush, Flawless Daisy Pink. I don't think it's something that is like incredible and that you need in your life. Is it my favorite? It just looks like a matte pink blush. I'm actually gonna go back in with this just to try to like warm up my cheeks a little bit more. Yeah, it is pretty. I mean, it is glowy as you can see, like it's adding a lot of glow to my cheeks, but I like the tone of this, not this, this. I feel like that was like a three in one kind of thing, like blush, bronzer, and illuminator because now my cheeks are like very glowy but I like it. Probably hands down my favorite product. Ooh, this is hard. Essence makes some good stuff because I love their mascara but this I think is like number one where I really don't have anything else in my collection that this has ever come close to is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and 10B My Highlight. This is holy grail status for me. It is perfection if you want that like glow from within kind of look it looks good on my fair skin or when i have tanner on like the shade is kind of like adaptable for me if you have textured skin a lot of highlighters like cling to your face this one does not do that it's not like super metallic it just it gives you the glow without being able to see it on your face if that makes sense but i also picked up their highlighter and luminous glow actually the shade is staggering 03 staggering it looks like it has a pretty like pink tint not that i need <laughs> any more glow right now because that luminous product like really did it for me but let's apply a little bit of this highlighter it's pretty it looks like a light pink highlighter lately i have been liking more of like the cheek glow rather than specific highlighter especially for fall i feel like it just the cheek glow is nice because it's not as obvious that is pretty if you're only getting one highlighter though i definitely prefer the formula of this one i'm gonna get wild and just add a little over top just because the tone so unnecessary, the level of glow I have going on right now is wild, but we're here, we're doing it. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I do have on the concealer on top of my eyes and I also have that powder on, so I feel like I'm good for a base. But I have two palettes to try and I'm really excited to try these because I'm always on the hunt for good small palettes. I love like little tiny palettes that are just easy to travel with, easy to use for like everyday makeup. Both of these are light and nice and compact. So I have first the Essence Coffee To Go, no, To Glow. Oh, that's cute. Eyeshadow palette. Oh, what the heck? This looks interesting. Look at this. I made the strongest cup of coffee of my life this morning. Actually, normally, I've, lately, I've just been having one in the morning and then I'll have like a second in the afternoon, but wow, I feel like I had three cups of coffee in that one cup. Oh my God, this thing is freaking super glued on here. Okay, so this palette was $8. This is the only thing that was over $6. Everything else would have been under six. But look at how interesting this is. Look at that. What the heck is that? I think it's supposed to look like little coffee beans. Parker's going crazy because my parents just got home. But this looks so pretty, especially for fall. We have some nice like rich warm tones. I'm gonna swatch this because I am confused. It just feels like a gloss. Is this supposed to be like a glossy eyeshadow topper? Let's see. A gloss texture as a universal eyeshadow topper. I guess you want that like glossy eye look which I'm not that into. I also picked up this one, Bronzed This Way eyeshadow palette. This one looked like colors that I would really reach for, especially this like creamy white as like an everyday shade, the browns. So between the two palettes, here's what I'm working with. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. I really like the color that that tint dries to because a lot of them can be like a little bit too fuchsia. This one is just more of like that pink color that I really like for my lips. Now I'm gonna take this camel color, pigmented. I guess I'm just blending that all over. <laughs> That's pretty. 
very pigmented. I love this flower beauty brush. This end is one of my favorite like smaller blending brushes. This shade looks really pretty, like a nice kind of rich purpley brown. So I'm gonna go in with that. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Just keeping that on like the outer half of my eye really. Not loving that brow product. I can just super feel it now. I'm gonna just swatch some of these shimmer shades to see which one I wanna go in with. Ooh, that looks really pretty. So here are the metallic shades in this palette. All of them look very beautiful. <laughs> okay, here's the metallic in this palette. Are you kidding? Look at that. So here's the lighter shade, obviously in the middle, and then that's the swirl one on the bottom there. These look beautiful. Just so you can see like the richness of these mattes, yeah. Oh my God. Look at how that's just swatched, the matte shade on the top. Okay, these are beautiful. This formula feels different than the other palette. And I feel like these mattes are like very different than Essences normally are. Whatever they did with this palette, they should do with all their palettes. Okay, too many good options now for the metallics. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this palette though, because I feel like this is a winner. This shade right here, I'm just gonna press that. Okay, I did just get followed on my eye, but that's probably because I just have like that powder base on right now. Normally I use a tacky base for this reason because I feel like eyeshadows stick better. My dad is airbrushing a small car downstairs. <laughs> so I hope you can't hear the airbrush. I just called him to tell him I was filming and he said it's urgent and he has to finish it because he already started it. <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I just had an idea and now I really wanna try it. I wanna try putting a little bit of this primer on my eyeball and then patting a shimmer shade over top and just seeing what happens. Just a super tiny amount. Okay, even just putting that over top actually, it's like really making it pop already, the liquid. Oh yeah, good call, good call. I'm using the gold in this palette. And I'm gonna take the swirl shade because it's kind of like in between the two. Just apply that kind of on the middle of my eye. Oh, that shade is really pretty. Really liking these. I'm gonna take like a mix of these mattes probably and put that on the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna go on the outer half of my eye because I want this look to be like kind of more lifted. So I'm gonna take the shade which is a little less warm, a flat liner brush and just on the outer half and just kind of smudge that. I feel like in the past I haven't been that impressed by Essence eyeshadows, but the formula of these ones do feel different. Nice, nice. Okay, really, really digging these. So this is a new eyeliner from Essence. It's their Lash Princess Liner, Black Waterproof. Love their Lash Princess Mascara. It's truly one of the best mascaras out there, period. Like high-end drugstore, everything, it's amazing. So I was excited to try their liner, but I tried the brown version in one of my other makeup first impression videos recently, and it was just a total fail. The tip is huge. It's like this marker tip, but aside from just the tip, the formula, or at least of the brown one, it just like came off very easily. I'm gonna keep it pretty close in. I'm not gonna like wing it out, but I do wanna just define it a little bit. I do feel like I'm using a Sharpie marker though on my eyeballs right now. So like I said, this mascara is one of my all time favorites. This is like my number one favorite mascara of all time. I have other ones that are like up there for me, but this is really, Number one, I always come back to it, but I didn't want to use that in today's video because I wanted to try one of their new ones. This is their Essence. It said it has hyaluronic acid in it. That's interesting. But this is the Another Volume Mascara, just better. That's what it's called. That's a that's a big name. We're gonna see if that holds true. But let's see this applicator. Oh, okay. Very bushy applicator, but like all the same size. Like it's not tapered or anything. It has that kind of applicator where it feels like feels nice and fluffy. It feels nice and soft. It feels a little tricky to get those corner lashes just because there, it isn't tapered at all, so there's not a smaller end. Right now it's more of a wet formula. I usually like not quite this wet, so I mean mascaras dry out, so if you have one that's too wet, you can kind of just don't keep it open, but like just opening it, letting air get in, that like helps it dry out. Oh my god, he's still airbrushing. Yeah, definitely very wet formula. There's two coats on this side. Here's one coat on this side. I feel like it's giving more length actually than volume, but I wanna let this dry down a little bit more because it is so wet and then go in with the third coat and see what happens. Cause sometimes that's like, that's where the magic happens. Still wet, <laughs> super wet. Okay, when I uh, ordered this makeup from Essence, I apparently thought I was gonna do a red lip. I think I was planning on doing like a very, you know, deep fall kind of red lip. So by the way, I'm just letting the eyes like dry down. So I figured might as well get it into the lips while my eyes are drying. This is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner Waterproof in the shade Now or Never 06. So that oil is like pretty much completely absorbed in. So I don't really feel like I need to like 
wipe anything off right now. Oh, it's gonna be full blown red. Okay, here we go. Very creamy. Ooh, pretty color. I'm just gonna fill it in. That's actually really pretty red, like on its own. This is 20 powerful semi matte. Before I do that, let's check the lashes. Lashes are ready for another coat. What I like to do is go in when it's still like a little bit wet so that you can work it in there. It's not completely like stiff and dry, but it's not as wet as before. I would almost layer this with another mascara that gives more volume, but this one is good for length and separation. Okay, I just threw on a different mascara for my lower lashes just because that one is like way too wet. But this is the shade 20 Powerful Semi Matte. How many times have I now said that? Ooh, okay, this is looking like it's gonna be good. It smells like um fruit candy. Okay, that's a pretty combo. Ooh, I really like this like richness. There's that shade. This is a pretty combo. Now he's hosing the deck down. This man, I swear to God. Let me just see what this would look like if I popped on some corner lashes. I know it's gonna really take it to the next level, but I kind of like the more natural eye. Okay, that's kind of what it would look like with the lash on. So definitely be much more dramatic. I think I like it better today with just no lashes. So that lipstick formula feels very comfortable. If you have dry lips, I think you would like the formula of that. It feels nice and cushy and moisturizing without feeling like too slippery. But this is the final look, full face of Essence makeup. I'm gonna go through and share my standouts and things I definitely think you should try or look into and other things I think you would totally skip on. So I would say standout standout is this palette, the Essence Coffee to Glow palette. Freaking beautiful. I First of all, I love the size as we know, but also the mattes in here are different. Like these are different than Essence's normal formula. Super nice and pigmented and soft and super easy to blend. I love the tones. Something about the tones are like really, I feel like doing something good for my eye color. And then the shimmers are very beautiful, like wearable, but you can make them pop. And also if you sprayed those with a setting spray, it would be like next level. Both of these were pretty, but the formulas of the shadows in the coffee palette were like, next level. These ones are kind of more of like the typical essence where if you've tried some of their shadows in the past, this is like that formula. Surprisingly, the Sunkissed shade 02 in this thing, I think is really pretty. It's giving the glow and like warming up my face nicely without looking orange. Like I really like the tone of it. I call this more of like an illuminating topper where it is giving that warmth and it is giving the glow, but I wouldn't use this as like an all over bronzer. Next time I use this, I would probably put a little bit of a bronzer on and then use it almost like as a topper. Also, obviously, depending on your skin tone, this could just be used as a highlighter. The shades of these so far, major standouts. I mean, this looks like a high-end lip combo to me. It looks like a matte combo because it has that like depth to it. This primer, obviously I have to see you know, how it does throughout the day, if it makes my makeup stay on longer or whatever, but just the initial feel of it. It doesn't have the classic like gripping feel. It, like I said, it feels more like a moisturizing serum primer, but then dries down and gives a pretty glow. And foundation still goes over top easy, even though it does have like that slight tackiness when it dries down. So this one is interesting. I'm gonna keep trying this for sure. I mean, we know these three are already standouts and major winners for me, so that's a given. I think you could definitely pass on the concealer. This is probably my least favorite thing. I use today. I feel like this powder does have potential with a concealer that I like because it did help the concealer situation, didn't make my under eyes look worse, and I like the brightness that it gave. So this for me, the brow product, I would definitely pass on. I can feel them like a ton. It feels like I have like a glue stick on my brows. And then other standout is the lip oil. I love the color of this one. This is something that I would totally just put on in the morning, like if I don't have any other makeup on. It just gives your face like a little warmth, a little life. And like I said, it'd be really pretty to throw a lip liner or gloss over top and just like finish off the look, but really pretty. Just know that it's not gonna be glossy, like the oil look isn't gonna stay on. It kind of absorbs in, tints your lips, does its job, and then pieces out, then you don't see it. And then the other one for me, I think you pass on is this highlighter. It's not bad. I just feel like the other Essence highlighter is so much better that I think I would just go with that one over this. And if you take anything from this video, get the eyeshadow palette, man. Also love the coffee theme. This is just like right up my alley. I think I would get more of these because I do like the formula of it. And I know I like this Essence lip liner formula, by the way, I have this in like a couple other shades. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have everything I used on my face today listed down below in the description box if you wanna check anything out. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.